Welcome to the On Purpose Podcast, where together we will learn from personal stories and explore thought-provoking topics, all with one goal in mind, living a more purposeful life. What's up, everybody, and welcome to this week's edition of the On Purpose Podcast. It's always an honor to be here with you, and uh, thank you for your space in your life, man. I, I never want to take that for granted, and I know you got a lot of Different things pulling at you and where you spend your time is extremely valuable to you. So this week I wanted to share something that I've been thinking about for quite a while. And it's being less impressed. Less impressed with, with yourself and and just your life, right? And and I came across that through Matthew McConaughey's book, Green Lights. And he referenced it a lot. And, you know, I've read that multiple times over the last couple of years. And it's something I really... I like the the self reflection and the inner work that he goes to and shares in that, and it got me thinking like what is what does less impressed mean to my life, and, and what is how do I avoid it and what can I do with it? And um, I was recently running with Otis, and, and I, I kind of just before I left, I just I wanted to put the emphasis on thinking this through, applying it to myself, and. During the run, I started asking myself, what does it mean to be less impressed with me? I'm not talking about being less impressed with other people or downplaying what other people have accomplished or things they've achieved that maybe you have or you haven't. Like, I'm not talking about that comparison mode externally. I'm talking about being impressed with yourself. So I asked myself, what does it mean to me when I'm impressed with myself? How does it make me feel? How does it make people feel around me? And what kind of energy does being impressed with myself first give off from me and what will it attract and as we ran step after step mile after mile you know we're passing the cactus and we're hearing the birds chirping and we're watching the water ebb back out to the sea running along the beach I realized that at the stages of my life and moments in time that I've been really impressed with myself I didn't like me right I, I started recognizing traits that if I was impressed with myself reflecting on all the things that, that I just felt great about or whatever, I noticed I was probably braggadocious, right? I was a little too boastful. I realized that in those times that I'm impressed with myself, I'm way more interested in talking than I am in listening. I'm more about what I've done than what I'm going to be doing. And I spend a lot more time reliving the past than I do creating my future. And as the sweat started to come down, I looked at Otis, and he's just going with me step after step, just smiling as we roll. I realized that impressed with himself, Jared is a lot less tolerant of differences. He's a lot more judgmental, much more short-tempered, because he's less curious to learn. As we continued on... I thought of my times in life where I've been impressed with myself and where that led me. These moments were usually followed by a humbling event, a failure to perform, a moment that left me unprepared because I had not been moving forward. But I had been kind of living my life on cruise control, content with what I've created, content with what I've done. Impressed Jared has relationships that suffer, dreams that are not pursued, experiences that are left on the table, and if left unchecked, impressed Jared would have regrets to mount. I think it's in all of us, it's in human nature in all of us to have moments like this in our life. Times where we're complacent maybe, we take our foot off the gas pedal, we've achieved enough, done enough. Seeing all there is to see that we become impressed with who we were. I think it's probably pretty normal. Yet I think it's also important for us to recognize when these moments come, when these feelings arise, when we get in a rut. Man, what am I doing? Why why don't I just feel full of life right now? To me, a lot of those times I'm not feeling full of life. I'm not excited. I'm not energetic. I could trace back to being impressed with myself. I'm looking back and not moving forward. And that's what excites me. 
And I think that's what excites most of us is not what we've done, but what we can do. Not where we've been, but where we're going to go. Not all the relationships that we've had, but the ones we're going to create. Right? I can't set up my house and the friendships and relationships and experiences and the legacy I want to leave in my life without continuing to move forward. So I ask you this week as you walk, run, bike, meditate, or just think about yourself, ask what does it look like when you're impressed with yourself? What do those monuments and milestones in your life look like when you, when you, t- when you put two and two together? Right? Just like an episode we did a, a month or so ago where we're talking about your life, your story, creating your world. I think this is an important piece of that is, is going inward and reflecting on yourself. Man, the parts of me I don't like, what was the consistent thing here? The moments I let myself down, the moments I let others down, what was the consistent thinking there? For me, a lot of times it comes back to this statement of being impressed with myself. And I challenge you to reflect and see how it applies to your life. I'd love to hear your thoughts on any of our social media feeds. Visit our web site theonpurposepodcast.com to subscribe to our weekly newsletter and I thank you as always for being part of our On Purposeful podcast movement. Have a great week. And remember team life is far too short to live any other way than On Purpose. We'll see you all again next week.